everyone so in this video i am going to do a little bit of a follow-on from my previous video which was how to create a tortoiseshell nail and i'm going to show you how i would attempt to do a blonde tortoise shell nail so i have have already applied a white base coat to this not that you can really tell because the stick is quite similar in color and i have cured that I would then go in and apply, apply a second layer. So what you could do, you could do one of two things. You could either apply white gel colour. This one is Studio White with a very, very small hint of yellow. And that's Bicycle Yellow. Or what you could do, moving on using the inkies again, is you could apply your white with a small amount of your yellow and some top coat like we did in the previous video and then mix that together Create that slightly off-white toe and then you would use that to then apply over the nail you'll find there's probably lots of videos on YouTube for this and they'll all probably vary some you'll probably find you get on better with than others just find what's right for you and as I've mentioned in my previous video the more you practice, the more you'll become familiar with different techniques and you'll start to realise what works best for you, what products work best for you as well. So I've applied that and you'll see that's just kind of created a slightly off-white colour. Now you wouldn't cure that layer and then you would go in with your gel polish. So you could either go in with like a medium grey shade or you could go in with like a dark black shade. So I'm going to go in with a bit of a, a dark uh, grey shade. CMD do quite a few grey shades. You've got your Cityscape, you've got your Mystic Slate, you've got a number of different ones, but I'm going to go in with Mystic Slate. You've got Asphalt and things like that as well. So um, I'm just going to come in with this one. And the same process as we used before, you would apply a little bit of the top coat or a base coat if you would prefer to work with a base coat and then mix that together to water down that grey even more and then you would come in with your spots so again if you look at this one I find the bigger you go with the spots the more realistic it looks whereas if you put two, the, the spots too small I think what happens is you tend to find that they look more like a different sort of animal print so if you sort of aim to go in the same sort of areas. And you don't have to apply it with a thin brush like this. You can use a thicker brush like that if you want to. Again, it's personal preference. and then you would cure that under the lamp for 60 seconds so that's cured in the lamp now so i've cleaned my palette and again you're going to be repeating that process so you're going to come in with either your white and your yellow sorry i'm using the wrong one here i'm getting sidetracked so i'm going to come in with my white i just tipped it over there Going to add a bit more this time because I want to make sure there's enough coverage so I tip that up so 
ignore them. Spill it. It's always important if you do spill anything to just clear it up straight away. And then I'll add some yellow into that. That's too much yellow. So I'm mixing quite a bit of this just in case I want to go back in again at the end to just give it another coat. So we'll see what it looks like when we've finished. Now if you feel that is too yellow, which I do, just add a little bit more of the white again into your mixture. And you would not cure this one either because you would then use your black. So in this case, I'm using CND's black pool. To come in with any of your darker patches. working it until you get that design how you want it. And I'm just kind of merging mine together a little bit just so that it doesn't look like there's like a sort of stripe almost running down. I want them to sort of blend better together if that makes sense. So you're just going to apply a little bit more depth here with the black. Okay, I'm going to pop that into the lamp for 60 seconds. So that's had another cure. And I think I'm just going to add one more coat to it because I just want to take a little bit of that yellow depth out of it and just make it a little bit whiter. So I would do the same process, but I would use your white. I don't think I'm going to add any yellow to it this time. We'll see how it looks. I can always add some yellow in a minute if I need to. And then let's mix that. Just to create a bit of a cloudy white. And just go over. Just to mute that yellow down a little bit. And it will also mute some of that black as well and give it that nice sort of grey look which is what you want from your blonde tortoise shell that's better so I'm happy with that and again if you wanted to just to add a little bit more depth so the darker areas which I am going to again just a very very small hint of depth here doesn't need to be a lot 
but it will just really make that design pop. And what I would also do again, just like I did with the other video, just so that you can see, you could leave it like that or you could add some of your flakes. So as I showed you before, this is one that I just bought from eBay. It wasn't expensive at all. Um, and I'm just gonna use some silver. So I'm just gonna slightly take it out of shot a minute. I'll just open it. So I'm just going to use a little bit of silver on this one. I think that's, I'm happy with that. I don't want to go overboard and add too much. I think it then takes away from the design. So you would then go in and cure that. And once that's cured, you would then apply your top coat. So I'm just going to pop that in and then I shall top coat it and I shall show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so they, that has now finished curing in the lamp. And what I want to show you, and I don't know if you can pick it up on this video, is because you are creating different layers. So when you come in with your spots, you're adding a, a couple of different layers on that. What you will find is when you put your top coat on, it will be slightly uneven. So in terms of getting that nice picture, that line of light, as you can see there, where I shine that light on it, you'll see the little ripples in it. And that is where there is more product in one place than another. So for the purposes of taking a nice picture, what you would do is apply your top coat, either do two top coats, two thin top coats, or you would apply one thicker top coat. And what I've done with this one here, just so that you can see the difference here, is I have actually applied one thicker top coat. So you'll see that line of light is a lot straight. I mean, you're gonna have a, a, a small difference, but in comparison to this one here, so if I put them together, you'll see that that one's kind of this right, this one here is slightly more dented where you've created your different layers. So just bear that in mind if you are doing it on a client or on yourself and you do want to get a nice picture, then obviously build your top coat up that little bit thicker. Um, so there you go. You've got your normal, normal tortoise shell and you've also got your blonde tortoise shell. So I hope that's been helpful for anybody that's wanting any tips. And if you do have any questions, please do let me know. Drop some in the comments and like and subscribe the channel to catch any of my future videos. Thanks again, guys. Bye.